Right, this is AP Calculus ABV, Unit 2, Lesson 7. I've already created a video on the trapezoid rule, but this, this lesson actually introduced something called the Simpsons rule as well. Simpsons rule basically um, uses pair sets of three points and inserts what we call a, a quadratic equation in there using those three points. And so it creates somewhat of a smooth curve instead of uh, the jagged, uh, def the jagged shape produced by the uh, the trapezoid rule. And uh, it's thought in some cases it's going to be more accurate. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and set this problem up. I've got on the screen uh, the function, and if, if we want to be consistent, f of x equals negative quantity x minus 1, quantity x minus 5, quantity x minus 17. And the graph is shown. And we're going to f evaluate the, the area under the curve between the values of 6 and 16. I can do this numerically using, uh, using my Desmos calculator, 6 to 16. You just type INT, and that creates the, the sigma uh, letter for, sent for uh, integration. 6 to 16 negative, actually I'm just going to do f of x dx, okay? And we can get an approximation here. And actually I'm going to do it from 6 to 14 because we need an even number. Now one of the restrictions about, uh, about Simpson's uh, rule is that it needs to have an even number of intervals, an even number of intervals, okay? Uh, so let's uh, let's see how this works uh, if by counting by twos. So I'm going to insert a table, okay, and I'm going to start with six and uh, no six num lock six eight ten twelve fourteen. How many intervals is that? One two one two three. Four. Yeah, if I add one more interval, that would be an odd number. So we need an even number of intervals. Only works with even numbers of intervals. Okay, and let me evaluate the function values at each time, each place. So negative x1 minus 1, x1 minus 5, x1 minus 17. Okay, there's our function values at the, at the given spots. Okay. And our, our, uh, you can see the, the points on the graph and definitely verify that they are part of the function. Okay. Now the trapezoid rule would say I'd set up basically a straight line between those dots. But uh, Simpson's rule is going to basically assign a curve. And we don't get into in this lesson the, the derivation of Simpson's rule. That involves some, uh, some math beyond uh, where we're going to go. But it suffices to say there is a method that uses nonlinear approximations. Instead of rectangles or trapezoids with straight lines, we now can apply a curve. And here is Simpson's rule. I'll leave it for you to look up the formula. But Simpson's rule is h divided by 3, where h is the, the, the width of each bin. Each bin is 2. So 2 divided by 3 times the first plus 4 times the second, plus 2 times the third, plus 4 times the, the fourth, plus the last. That pattern, 4, 2, 4, alternating between 4 and 2, starting with 4, needs to, uh, needs to continue for no matter how many, how many you have, so 351, okay? And lo and behold, you find that the, the interval, the integral, or the area under the curve using Simpson's rule is 221.3 forever, or 221 and a third. It's exactly the same as the, the definite integral of f of x is, which I find fascinating that uh, Simpson's rule gave us the exact answer, uh, where the trapezoid rule would not. Now, that's not true of all cases. There are errors depending on the function. Simpson's rule is not a perfect panacea, but it certainly can produce much more accurate results in certain cases, okay? So just in review, the formula for Simpson's rule is, is S for the sum of the 
the uh, areas as h over 3 times a1 plus 4a2 plus 2a3 plus 4a4 plus 2a5 a, a etc. Keeping that pattern up. Always needs to, the second to last is always a 4 a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n. And actually, I got the notation, the subscript, a little bit wrong here. It actually starts at a0. The index starts at 0. But the first has no coefficient, and the last has no coefficient. A0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. All right. There is a formula for the error under Simpson's rule. Uh, that is worth knowing, but that's for a later video.